give it up for the Cape Academy of Performing Arts. What an incredible performance. Now, Elvis, you know all about that life. Yeah. You went from being a dancer, now you're a choreographer. How was the journey for you? It was not easy, and still people, they want me to dance, but I think not everyone needs to be on the forefront. Mm. Some, they need you to go behind the scene in nature. Absolutely. So I want to study it uh, now, not uh, when I'm on my existing level. <laughs> I want to start now since I'm still fresh mm. and go in nature, young ones. Nurturing talent is what it's about. I mean, yes. Kanyisile, this is not necessarily work that you have hands-on experience, but I'm sure that, which you do actually, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> but there are a lot of viewers at home that are watching right now and might not have had an opportunity to engage with you previously in the work that you've done. So what do you say to that young girl or young boy who's watching and wants to get stuck in, wants to get involved in the curatorship space? Trust your intuition. Um, where you're born, your circumstances, your yes have to, bigger, to be bigger than that. It has to be a bigger yes. Everything might say no, literally everything. It is not an easy road to be in the creative space mm. because everything else we are taught, you have to go work nine to five and all of these things. It's not an easy road. You have to have a bigger yes and a bigger faith than a religious faith. It has to be so much bigger. Mm. And back yourself throughout everything that you do. And I know for you to being whether it is putting painting onto canvas or whether it is capturing an iconic moment with the lens of your of your camera. I mean, there is a point where you need to trust yourself, as Kanye Sile says, where you need to say, actually, I might not know how to go about this. This might be a very sensitive subject that I'm, I'm speaking about. But how do you stand firm in who you are and make your voice heard regardless? I think nothing, nothing worth doing is easy. Um, you almost just have to jump into it, um, navigate your space, um, and just take things as they come. Um, but be sensitive to, to those around you at the same time. Mm, and for yourself, Anna? I think you, I, I would agree with this, but you also have to add persistence. Like, yeah. nothing comes easy. Like, uh, you, your circumstances can be different. But if you don't have that persistence, that drive to wake up every morning and do what you love, mm you'll fail. Like that for me is the, the key. Yeah, and, and I know in different ways there is a grueling element to what everyone does. I know for you, Elvis, it could be physically grueling where your knees can't do it anymore mm. and your ankles and your body is just so sore, but you need to push through those moments. I mean, for yourself, how do you keep going? I think um, perseverance, as they said, and also having short-term goals, long-term goals. Oh, wow. And for, for me, I feel like the, the, the body can't take it uh, anymore when you, when you grow up. So you need to, to have a, a, a second plan. And the second plan, obviously, you're going to go behind the scene. Mm. So start earlier than later while you still uh, be able to move. Nature also other skills around the mm -hmm. art. Stunning. You've given me so much to think of. Definitely create goals, short term, medium term, long term. Be persistent. When they keep saying no, you need to rise above and come through with your yes. And of course, creativity. We want to hear from you on social media. Let's keep the conversation going and let us know what piece of creativity, what piece of art resonates with you. Tweet us, hashtag us at Afternoon Express. Go onto our Facebook page, leave a comment. We're definitely looking forward to hearing from you. But join us again next week, same time, same place, 5 p.m. for another incredible episode of Afternoon express from our guests to us good night and god bless Mwah. thank you so much guys thank you.